our next part are going to be questions about your home. So, what type of home do y'all own? Do you own your home or do you rent your home? Own. Is it a single family detached house? Yes. Approximately how long have y'all lived there? I own two homes. Lived in this one six years. Where's your other home here? Habersham County, North Georgia. You had it for 16 years. So is it in the mountains? It's in the mountains. <laughs> it's on a mountain. On a mountain. That's cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, how did y'all end up in Cordial? The, my job. I'm the county Good administrator. Job. Is that from... Did y'all move from North Georgia? Or did y'all just I moved come? from... Decatur County. Decatur County, okay. I was the county manager there. Okay. So just your job brought you to the yeah. Yeah. So, tell us a little more about your home in Cordill. Is it, just tell, what kind of home you live in? Uh, Two-story. Let's see. Four bedrooms, four full baths, double car garage. What about your one in the mountains? Is it a cabin? No, it's, it's, a, it's house? a house. It's a, it's, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two story, and then basement, garage. Both, both of our houses has office. And so, do either of your houses have any rooftop solar on them? No. So, why do neither... Tell us why you do not have rooftop solar. Was it a decision that you made, or is it one that was made for you? Well, pretty much made for us. The houses didn't have it when we... Uh, moved in. Of course, the house we've had for a long time is really wasn't there, you know, at that time. And, and for that house, it probably wouldn't be that practical because it is in force. It doesn't get that much direct sunlight. The house here, just we just really haven't thought about it. So if it was something that was available, would solar be something you'd think about for either house? I would think about it, but I would have to research it more. And, and I have researched solar to a degree, and you do have to have direct sunlight. When they say that solar works on cloudy days, it does work, but it's, it's degraded. You're not going to get 100% of the energy out of the, the solar. And I think you have to look at the fact that when you replace the roof, it, it is a major expense because the panels have to come off to replace the roof. So I think you have to do a cost-benefit analysis to see if it's worthwhile or not. So you think your house in Cordell would have the right setup, but your house in the mountains it, wouldn't? Yeah, yeah. This house would. It, it would. It would. Uh, you could do it at this house, but the house in North Georgia, you really couldn't do it. There's just too many trees, and I'm not willing to cut the trees out to do that. Trees are good. <laughs> It would ruin everything if I did that. <laughs> I mean, that's the reason we bought it. It was the location. Because it is on a mountain, and it's, I've got five acres, but only about a quarter of an acre of it you can walk on. The rest of it's Trees and straight forests. down. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and it, it overlooks a couple of ridges and a lake down in the valley. So. And that's the reason we bought it was for location. Where in North Georgia did you say it is? Habersham County, Cornelia, northeast Georgia. Okay. About 30 minutes from Helen. How far is it from Blue Ridge? Not that far. It's the same area. Same it's area? all up okay. in the same area. Mm -hmm. Up in northeast Georgia. Blue Ridge this weekend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you won't be far from a place up there then. I think Blue Bridge is probably about 45 minutes an hour okay. away. Okay. Yeah. 
I've never really been to Georgia Mountains. It'll be a first. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about the U.S. a little bit. Okay. So, you can, you can use whichever pen you want. Okay. Um, you're going to draw on it some. And okay. I want you... It's where do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes throughout the U.S.? So, kind of draw or write on the map where you think more people have solar. Well, I would think out out west. What you want to just like put more solar or? Yeah, you can. However, you want to do it. Just you can circle, color it, right. Okay. Well, how it's your about coloring for the like, day. Like that? Uh, it's the coloring. Do I, do I get to do? Yeah, what, as, as much many? as you think, as many okay. as you think. Okay. Colorado, they're the kind of people that do that. <laughs> Our youngest daughter lives in Colorado Springs. She would be one to probably do that. I think that's about it. So what do you think makes those communities different from people in Georgia that would, for in Cordial, that would adopt it? Well, I, I, mainly more sunshine, less chance of clouds. It, it, you know, it just makes more sense to, to do like there. Mainly it's more sun and less rain and clouds, mm. so if you kind of look at the, the map, that's, that's where I would think they would be more. Mm. And, and it's still fairly new technology, so and people out west tend to be ahead when it comes to technology. And the cost of energy out there is a lot more also, so you know people would be, I think, tend to do things to, to cut back on that. Of course, you could get up in Washington, Oregon, where people are really trying to live off the grid, Idaho, those areas. That and they're really, I mean, they're they're getting off the grid, self-sustaining. And I I could probably do those too because up there, though, of course, it does stay cloudier. But I do know that that people up in there do try to do off-grid living okay okay. Yeah. okay so let's talk about georgia a little okay. bit so in georgia which areas do you think ha- they use more solar energy rooftop solar in georgia Ooh. and the ones that are highlighted are just so you have a yeah you can help find yourself around How about if I just like circle an area? That's fine. You know, and I do more of the metro area. <laughs> what that you, would be that would be, be about, about what I would see. I think. think. Yeah. Okay. So, why do you think people in the metro area would be more likely than your rural county? Cost of energy. Probably, and and probably they're a little more progressive in their thinking. Okay. So, do you have any of your close friends that are in Georgia or any areas that have any rooftop solar? No. Why do you not, not think that so? I know. Not that you know. <laughs> okay. I'm retired military, so I've got friends that lives all over the uh-huh. United States. So, and I got a lot of them out in Arizona. So some of them might have some of them rooftop. Might. Yeah. Hey, it's and something the chances you could go... are pretty good that some of them does. Now I don't know. You know, I don't know if it'd be. I don't think it'd be total off the grid, but to supplement, and mm-hmm. and and that would make sense if you lived in an area where you had a lot of sun. I, I, I think you could probably do that because it would cut your energy costs, and if you. I think with a house like I have, I couldn't produce enough energy to sell it back to the power company. But, but you know, it could cut down on it. But again, like I said, I think you have to weigh, you know, how much are you going to save on your energy costs by doing it when you think about having to put a roof on that, that you've got to basically redo the system. So to me, you'd have to do a cost-benefit. Would it be cost-efficient? To do it to supplement. Hey, now you have a topic you can ask your friends all over the place. Do you have any solar? <laughs> yeah. 
Well, ch chances are pretty good that some of them that lives out west does. To, like, like I said, energy costs out there are a lot mm -hmm. more expensive. So some, some of them probably do that, you know, run their hot water and things like that. It, mm -hmm. would, it would cut down on their cost. So, mm -hmm. yeah, chances are pretty good.